Welcome to the MSF Frontline Reports podcast. I'm Melissa Pratt. This week, you'll hear how people struggle just to get the most basic medical care in North Kivu Province, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Paul Brockman worked as the project coordinator for a year in MSF's primary health care program in the Moweso area of North Kivu. People living in this part of DRC have to contend with ongoing insecurity and outbreaks of violence that push them out of their homes. They suffer from preventable diseases like cholera, measles, and malaria. They're often unable to access any medical care, which is why MSF has been working there for 30 years. Here, Brockman describes what he saw during his time in North Kivu. It was my responsibility, essentially, to ensure that we were working with the populations that most needed us, that is to say populations who are most vulnerable or most exposed, essentially with no other access and with very high needs. We're talking mothers who, who maybe, if they're lucky, can walk six hours to maybe find a midwife who might have a bed to help them deliver, but it's more likely to be a traditional birth attendant without the provisions that we take for granted of, of a decent bed and decent sanitation and decent hygiene and vaccinations post-delivery and checkups before delivery. Things like that are simply unavailable unless there's an organization like MSF there to provide them. The things that, that people always want anywhere I've worked, whether it's Congo or elsewhere, are, are so simple and so predictable. They want security. They want to know that they're going to be able to find a hospital when they're pregnant. They want to know that they're going to be able to find a nurse to diagnose their kid when he comes down with a fever. Is it malaria or isn't it malaria? They want to know that they're going to be able to, to get their kid on treatment. They want to know that they're going to be able to get to their fields and tend their crops and, and get food to feed themselves and their children. When there is an increase in conflict when, when two different armed groups are fighting over a given territory. The armed groups need to be able to get themselves food or income, so they'll go in and, and they'll rob villages, they'll steal the pigs, they'll steal the food. You see it happening in Congo and you see the effects. It means that suddenly you see more malnutrition. Suddenly you see the kids coming in with very, very thin mid-upper arm measurements and you've got to put them on, on, on ready-to-use therapeutic food or you've even got to admit them to the intensive therapeutic feeding center at the hospital. MSF teams work in the main hospital in Moeso, and they make weekly trips to isolated rural areas where people have taken refuge from the fighting. Some people live in camps, but many live with host families, pushing those families' already strained resources to the limit. And even in these areas, the insecurity remains. One village is home to thousands of displaced people. It stands on fertile bottomland, which is flooded most of the time. Currently, we're facing approximately an 80% positivity rate of malaria there. This means that we're treating more than 800 patients a week for malaria approximately right now. This is an astronomical figure. Mercifully, because we're there, we're keeping the mortality quite low. But this is a lot of people that are getting sick, that are getting feverish, that are losing days from their work, simply because they've had to leave their homes in mountains where malaria rates are generally lower. And even there, they still face incursions from armed groups that will come in and rob and steal and, and yes, rape and pillage. But it's still better than where they were before or they wouldn't be there. And that, that says something about what other places one could live in this area and how much worse they would be if this is the place you choose to go and live in. There's been nearly 20 years of a fairly ongoing civil war and generalized conflict and it's not over yet. It's not, it's not as active a war as it was a decade ago, thank goodness but it's still a, a highly unstable situation. And it's very hard to know exactly what will happen. 
find out more about MSF's work in DRC, go to msf.org to find the MSF website in your home country. Thank you for listening to the MSF Frontline Reports podcast. MSF, or Doctors Without Borders, is an independent medical humanitarian aid organization that delivers emergency assistance to people affected by wars, epidemics, and natural or man-made disasters in 70 countries around the world.